This is just a quick video about a toggle connection on a hammock. Uh, someone asked me about connecting a whoopee sling to the gathered end of a hammock. So say this is the gathered end of the hammock with a continuous loop made out of am steel. So I think what you guys are doing is making like a lark's head connection onto this and then putting a uh, a toggle through it so basically you're connecting a whoopee sling like this so you're needing a toggle to create this connection like this would be the end of the whoopee sling and then this would be your hammock end and uh, but you're using instead of a continuous loop you're using a saw shackle so you don't need the toggle so and even if you let's back up for a second even if you weren't replacing the continuous loop with a uh, with one of these you still don't need to do that little toggle thing that I just did you could simply just larks head the loop on there like that you don't need the toggle unless for some reason you need to be able to instantly take it apart but back on the the part of this question about using the replacing the continuous loop with a saw shackle so again this is pretend like this is the end of your hammock and you're going to replace the continuous loop with the saw shackle So you have the saw shackle installed into the continuous loop of your hammock and you're thinking that you just need to now close the saw shackle and uh, now you can open and close the saw shackle and connect this. You can do that. That's going to shorten up the length of your saw shackle. You can do it like this. But another way to do it would be just take the saw shackle and go through that loop the noose and then close it up like a lark's head which is good because this lark's head will squeeze down on the material and take a lot of stress off whatever stitching is right here and then you still have a really cool quick connection because this knot and the looped end of a continuous loop will create a soft link you go through the legs and then over the knot and you have a soft link and the soft link will do what that other little thing did with the toggle because it's super strong, but you can also quickly open it up. Like that. And you can also, like, if you don't want to do the go through the legs and over the head, you can also kind of go, go like this and bring it up around over the head. It creates the same, the same effect. You can go through the legs and then over the head of the knot. Or if if you're uh, if you're setting it like this, like if you have it in your hands like this, you can just grab the loop, grab this loop between the two legs, and go right over there. It's really quick and easy to set up. It's very secure because the pressure of the weight closes these legs together. So there's there's no way for this knot to come through there. And then of course quickly quickly comes apart like that. So anyways, to answer your question, yes, you can put the continuous loop into your hammock as a soft shackle, as this. And you can set it up like how you had it. Like this. But the only disadvantage to having it like this is it, it makes it shorter, which may or may not be an advantage. But it also, you run the chance, the slight chance of when you have this soft shackle opened up, you can accidentally unthread it through your hammock. And then you have to sit there and the long channel in your hammock, you're going to have to thread it back through. 